In this tutorial, we'll fix the bootstrap navbar to the top without overlap with the other content. Okay, so I have a navbar here, which I just copied from the documentation, right? Because these bigger components are, you know, quite complicated. They have many different classes. The HTML is quite cluttered. So you're not going to remember the exact structure. So better to just copy it from the documentation and then modify it to get what you want. So I modified it a little bit here. I made it darker and I pushed it to the right side. And then we have some content below there because what we're going to do here is we're going to use position fixed to make sure that this nav bar sticks to the top part of the viewport. The problem with that is that it will be taken out of the normal flow. So let me show you this. So let's say we have more content right now. We don't have that much, but let's say we have much more to the point that we actually get a scroll bar. So I'm just going to give the body a height of, let's say 5,000 pixels. And so then we can scroll, right? So now we want to make sure that the nav bar actually sticks to the top of the viewport as we scroll down. So it scrolls with us. So we have a utility class, very easy in Bootstrap. It's called fixed top, right? You can just use this and it will use position fixed in CSS, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS and also JavaScript if you want to work as a Bootstrap developer or front end development in general, right? Because those are really the fundamentals. So I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you want to take those skills to a professional level. The links are in the description. So what we get is it scrolls with us. Now, as you could see, um, the content shifted up. Right, so now there's overlap and we're going to undo that just so you can see again. Right, so this is what we have. And now when, when I add fixed top, you can see that the content will shift upwards, right? And this is because this nav bar is taken out of the normal flow with position fixed. And what that means is that other elements are going to act as if it doesn't exist anymore. So it's not going to take up any space. So this content part shifts upwards because now there's not there's more space available here right from from its perspective right so the typical solution for this is to simply add some padding to the top um, of the of the same height as the nav and i believe it's it's around it's something like 56 pixels or so that's going to be the the height of the nav bar so if you add that back to the body the body will add the padding and so all the content will shift downwards again by the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.